Hello everybody, today I'm just doing a quick video showing how to set up a mobile phone version of your website using Zara Designer Pro and XTCMS. So um, I have open here in the browser in front of me, I've got the uh, demo website that's um, you can go and check this out at the link up here in the URL and um, this is basically um, how the website will look on a desktop computer. Um, down here is a little preview image. Um, on the right is uh, a quick glimpse of what it looks like um, on a desktop screen, and on the left, how your site uh, will look on a mobile screen. Um, so to do this, um, by default, you'll usually have your main desktop team anyway up and running uh, if you're using the CMS. So to make it work with uh, a mobile phone, you just need to upload a second team that's designed with the mobile phone screen in mind. Okay, so I'll go to uh, Zara Designer Pro now and show you the two different teams um, and how that works. Okay, so here's Zara Designer Pro now, uh, and this here is the mobile team that I have open in front of me. And if I click on this tab here, this is the desktop um, team. Okay, so these are all the different page templates in the desktop file, and over here are the ones in the mobile. Um, file. Okay, so it's 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 pretty easy now to uh, if you already have your desktop site up and running, it's pretty easy to convert it straight over to a mobile um, site. Uh, really, all you need to do is um, I'll just do it really quickly here. So I'm just going to save this as uh, temp. Save that. So I don't overwrite the uh, actual working file. Okay. So, um, yeah. So basically, to make this, if you already have your desktop team website, to make this into a, a mobile team, uh, really, the first thing you need to do is change the page size. So I go to page options and change the width of the page down to 320. Uh, click apply or OK. Okay, now that there now is pretty much um, a size that will fit on all mobile phones or at least all commonly used mobile phones anyway. Um, now to basically you still need to um, fix up the rest of your site so really it's just a matter of um, bringing everything across like so going to need to extend, extend the page length to um, fit this image in down here as well. So we take our image, just resize it down smaller. Okay, now these uh, footer images and stuff like that, these all need to be brought over as well. Actually, there is one other thing I would do as well, I'd recommend. Um, and that is the page shadow. I would turn that off. So if you just go to page options, uh, turn off your page shadow. So you just get a flat hard width. And um, because of the page shadow on, you'll actually make the width of um, the final uh, output web web page. I think it could add a few pixels on, and then what will happen is in your mobile phone you'll have a little horizontal bar that just moves a little, you know, bit like that, like which is just kind of annoying. So yeah, just match it down to 320 and remove the uh, shadow. So then let's just continue to actually let's grab both of them at the same time. Now for this, like I think uh, the best thing to do is, is to uh, you can reduce the text size, but I would probably just push it down to. Um, Three lines. So you could just do something like that. Designs. Let's just do it this way so it kind of reads a bit better. What are we doing? There we go. Okay, and the same with the header. Bump, and 
pump pump now that's pretty much your page converted the likes of this you might want to make the um, actual text a bit smaller so or maybe see it I can't actually remember what way I did this ah oh, okay I actually shortened the text a bit so just that then I probably made this a bit smaller and just quicker to just slide it down like that something like that so um, the one thing you will need to do is create your uh, a new nav bar because uh, obviously your desktop one's going to be too long. So what I've done is I have um, a just two button nav bar, and if I just preview this in Zara, you can see that the other links then come under menu uh, like that. So if um, actually if you're previewing this on the phone, if you if you click on menu, this will pop up and you'll be able to click on it. It's not it's a hover over here, but it actually works as a um, it's actually stays on the screen on a mobile phone, which is good. So these are the standard Zara. This is standard Zara navbar I'm using, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, this kind of st where am I going? Uh, yeah, this stuff here. I've got some special stuff going on here on the desktop site that moves things around. So in that case, what I've done is I've removed that and just place replace it with a standard image at the top left, just to keep things simple and lightweight for the mobile uh, version of the website. Um, and really that's it then, you've got your, you know, you've got that particular page done and you can go through, like, if, if you've got repeating objects, a lot of this will be, what could be done from page to page. This probably isn't set up right in the um, theme I'm using, but that should have come across as well as it was. Um, and, you know, if you could probably spend, you know, 10-15 minutes on each page. It's not too, it's not too much. And once you've got your nav bar done, you know, again, that's repeated uh, on the other pages. <clears throat> so that's how you go about it, really. And you end up with your finished team with all your different pages like this. Right, so once you've got your uh, mobile team uh, done and dusted, the next step then is to actually publish it up to the CMS. Um, so I'll just have a, show you a quick look at the file structure um, for that. Um, and okay, so this is basically the CMS um, files and folders. Uh, if you go to Teams, uh, the Zara Alpha team, that's pretty much our main desktop team uh, that the site's using already. Now, if you add a new um, <coughs> team folder using the same name and just underscore mobile uh, on the end of it, the CMS will automatically use this then for mobile um, displays. So basically, in here we have all the page templates for our desktop site and in this one we have uploaded all our I'm just looking at this locally but you know it'll be the same as the server and so these are all our mobile page templates uh, and the CMS then will pretty much if it's shown a desktop uh, if it's shown the website to a desktop user it'll use page templates automatically out of here and if it's shown the, the um, website to a mobile user it'll use the page templates out of here Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, once you've uploaded your mobile team, um, your website will then uh, display desktop layout to desktop users and a mobile layout to mobile phone users. Okay, so um, to preview that really quickly on your desktop, uh, if you just put into the URL up here uh, a query question mark mobile, it'll actually force it to output using the mobile team, mobile page templates. And you can actually preview and have a look through your site um, as if it was on a mobile phone. And um, if you want to switch back to desktop, you can put in question mark desktop. Now, these could possibly be used as well for links um, on your site if you want to actually give users uh, a clickable option to actually choose the view they want to use. Um, so I'm not I haven't actually looked at that yet but that's a 
possibility. I mean, it's totally doable, but it's just, um, is it a good idea to do it or not? Because uh, you, you have to be careful with um, kind of duplicate oils and kind of stuff like that. The thing about this, the way this works is, um, for example, if we just look at the mobile page again, um, no matter um, if you're viewing this on your desktop uh, computer, the URL page URL is exactly the same uh, as if you were using viewing it on the mobile. So you're not getting a special, you're not getting any kind of redirects or anything like that to different uh, URL. It's the exact same URL that's serving the exact same page content, but just two different uh, layouts basically. Um, and one of the good advantages of that is then, uh, say you wanted to update some content uh, on one of your on 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 your site. Uh, say the home page for example if I go into the actual admin area here um, and just update some contents um, check here. okay so let's um, uh, edit the home page content so we've got the categories and then click modify beside the home page um, we'll just put some text in here in the end of the first paragraph so that we can see that it's updated um, testing with some stars to stand out more. Save that. Okay. So now if we go back to our home page and refresh it. Um, you can see that the home page is displaying uh, our updated text, uh, and this is the desktop view. But if we actually look at it on a mobile, that will be updated as well. So just force it to show mobile view. You can see the same content has updated. Uh, as well, so it's it, you know the content shared. It's it's no matter whether you're watching it or looking at it on desktop or um, mobile, it's the same content. Okay, the only uh, situation where you'd have to um, update on maybe more than once is if it's something on the page layout or the design. So you'd have to then go to uh, back in the Zara and you'd have to maybe you know you're changing some text up here. And um, because I've made this part of the actual layout, I'd have to change it on the um, I'd have to change it on the mobile team, and I'd have to go in and change it on the desktop team. But that's of course if you want to change them both. It depends. You might want to yeah a little bit of variation, a little bit of difference here and there is okay. But essentially, so long as it's the, it's the same content overall on the page, it doesn't have to be an, an exact replica. Um, but it just it's you know the page's purpose is the same and the content and the topic it's talking about whatever is the same. Okay, so that's pretty much it.